Alright, so today I'm going to be doing a little review of the McMillan X1975 auger drive with the stump planer attachment. I've had a chance to run it a pretty good bit and uh, I've done about 50 or so stumps with it. So I've kind of got a pretty good idea of the ins and outs of it. Uh, here you can see I'm doing a sweet gum stump for a customer that I cut down some trees for uh, about four months prior to this video. And uh, it does really well in hardwoods. Uh, I've done some pines with it as well. They do well. The only thing that it doesn't do good in is stumps that have started to decay or rot. And uh, it just busts out of it and you'll see that here, uh, some of that here later on in the video uh, so what's going on right here is uh, as you start drilling down in a wet stump sometimes uh, the little cone with the spirals on it will just compress the wood in and you'll have to pick it up and back it out and see like some of that little debris will just explode out of there and uh, once you set it once you get that out of there and set it back in it, uh, it'll it'll keep going down it does really well uh, one thing to remember here is to always leave yourself uh, some drilling space like some flat surface usually about a three inch wide space will give you enough uh, area to sink your your cone into I don't know I guess your tip is what you should call it uh, if you leave less than three inches a lot of the times uh, as the tip drills down into that little area it will just split out the side and your, your planter will not be able to grab in and go on down so uh, just try when you're when you're spacing around your stump to be sure and leave yourself some some drilling area uh, also what I've come to what I've come to learn is you should always start around the outside edges first. If you start in the center, uh, say like here, this customer just wanted to be able to mow over the top of it. So I just wanted to go a couple inches below surface. If you start in the center, you kind of have a skewed, uh, a skewed angle of what the surface actually is because the ground a lot of times uh, mounds up on the sides of the stump. And if you'll start on the side of the stump, you'll you'll get down below the actual area, the plane of where the mower will be running. So uh, once you get the outside done and uh, you get it down into the ground a good bit, you can start moving on into the inside. Also, it's very important to keep a rake or you know like a garden hoe with you. Uh, to clear off all the shavings because once once it gets built up it's really hard to see what's going on also I, I thought about uh, bringing a leaf blower like a big backpack backpack leaf blower but uh, I just never got around to trying that I think it would work fine but carrying it in the skid steer is kind of a hassle so uh, luckily I just had some I had someone here to help me on this job just to keep it uh, just to keep the shavings cleared off to where you can see what parts of the stump you have left and uh, but you can do the the bulk of the stump without help or without a rake but it's really once you get down into the fine details of the the bottom of the stump trying to get it level with the ground is where you're gonna need to rake all the shavings back or have someone with a leaf blower uh, there you can see uh, I busted out a little bit. Uh, I don't I don't know if you'll be able to see it on this one or not. I don't think so. Uh, but it, it's worked really well. Like I said, I think I've done close to 50 stumps with it so far, and I mean I've just I've had no trouble with it at all, other than I broke about quarter inch of the the drilling tip off and I actually contacted the company that I purchased this from and they sent me another one but I just I left the new one in the skid steer I haven't 
I haven't gotten around to changing it, but the planer has actually been working fine. And uh, I just really haven't, I haven't had any reason to change it. I'm just keeping it as a spare. So if it ever gets dull or it stops uh, pulling the planer down, then I'll change it. But until then, I mean, a quarter inch broke off is, it's not hindering the process at all. But uh, I, I haven't tried this drive with a dirt auger yet, but I know that if it's doing this uh, stump planer this well, I'll have no issues with it. Uh, I, a lot of people told me before I bought this, it's gonna be slow. It's not gonna be as good as like your, your traditional wheel grinder. But I actually think that I prefer the stump planer to the grinder. Number one, it's not near as hard on your machine, your skid steer. Uh, it's not near, it doesn't cause near the vibration. It doesn't throw the shavings as far. And, you know, you don't have like the hazard of it coming back and hitting you and or uh, breaking teeth off or something like that. And that tip to replace is, for the whole assembly was $200 if I if they didn't replace it for me and those the three blades a set of them cost $150 and those blades after like 50 probably like 40 hardwood stumps and 10 pine stumps all of them over over 15 inches those blades are still as sharp as the day I bought them I I, I mean they still feel like a cat's claw when you rub your finger over them um, I've had no issues with that with with them going dull or chipping or anything. Uh, but yeah, people tried to talk me out of getting this. They said it wouldn't be as good as a wheel grinder, but I've had no issues with it. And I believe it's just as fast as a wheel grinder. I, I've seen uh, I've seen a lot of people using them and, and they, you know, they don't just zip through them. They have to do a, a bunch of different cuts and I think it's just as fast maybe a little more tedious or you know you have to learn the ins and outs of it but if I had to do it all over again this thing was half the price of a cheap wheel grinder and probably the third of the price of uh, you know a higher end uh, wheel grinder but uh, I would definitely buy this again and I'm gonna continue to use it the only, the only thing really that I would be worried about is my, uh, my auger drive going out after I get a lot of hours on it. But uh, it's under warranty for I believe, I believe it's two years that the McMillan. Don't quote me on that. I think it's two years factory warranty. I know the place I bought it from warranties it for one year. But uh, as long as you keep it. Uh, it has the the manual said to service it after 50 hours and then after that it, it's it's on up there i think maybe every 100 hours but i'll service it before then you know just checking your your the oil in your drive unit and uh just i mean you should be if you're running a skid steer you should be making sure that you're not getting any contamination like water in your lines or something like that and contaminating your hydraulic oil but uh all in all this is a really good this is a really good purchase and I, I'm, I'm not having any buyer's remorse at all. So uh, I'll continue to upload videos and, and uh, let you know if I have any problems with it. But as of right now, it's a, it's a thumbs up for the Macmillan X1975 drive with the stump planer attachment. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video.